Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter and uh, giving you a nice little thinker for your way home on this Friday podcast. So uh, today uh, I wanted to get a little bit into, you know, uh, we're, we're, you know, a lot of you guys out there, you know, myself included, are, are kind of uh, creative professionals. Creative professionals, yes. I, I, we like to think of ourselves as, and 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 uh, we're doing cool things out there, right? And I thought there was a really good comic. Uh, this is over on the site that I feel weird saying that I uh, admitting that I I I, I, I check out, uh, but it's thanks to Chilla on the Awesome Cast, uh, kind of uh, turning me on to this. Uh, Geeksarsexy.net is the site, and there is a comic that they posted from uh, Dorkly Comic. Uh, video game jobs, expectations versus reality, and, and normally, like, game tester, I get to play video games all day, and before anyone else, the reality, they are having me jump 1,000 times in this one corner. Or you go through a concept artist, I spend my whole life studying art, so everyone respects my opinion. Reality, the money guys want everything in to be read, even the background. That's kind of, yeah, yeah, it, it, this, this applies to video games. Um, I don't think people realize when they're playing their video games how deeply a programmer. If you want to be a superstar programmer, everything is going super smoothly. Reality, I solved one problem and gained seven more. That's... I think I think there's a lot of romanticism now these days. Uh, certainly, as we as we talked about with uh, startup culture, right? To, to start your own startup, and 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 uh, Silicon Valley illustrates this, and and uh, on HBO, and uh, we were all looking at TechCrunch and and seeing who the who the cool new app is and everything. But for every cool new app, there's like eight that failed, right? And 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 they're living in their mom's basement because it didn't work out, right? Uh, or, or you look at the video game programming, it's an exciting career that they advertise at the Art Institute. And you're like, I'm going to go become a game designer. Then you realize, holy crap, this is, this is hard. <laughs> and I think that's a lot of it. I think there's, I saw that a lot at the Art Institute where people would come in there saying, I'm going to be, I'm going to be industrial design. I'm going to be a graphic designer. I'm going to be uh, X, Y, and Z. And, and, and uh, I have this, I want to go through school and get a great job and do awesome stuff. And... People, I think people don't look at the minutia of that. You know, I think some people, I, I've seen some people go do the graphic stuff, enjoy the graphic stuff, and the and and uh, com or enjoy the programming stuff. And in comments that surprised me, I know a couple good good friends that said, "Yeah, I enjoyed doing that, but I don't see myself doing it as a career." Uh, almost to the point of, I enjoy doing that. But I'd, I'm afraid me doing it for work will destroy my love for it, which is very, very interesting, which I, I don't know how to gauge that on the passion scale, I guess, is, is, is the way I, I, I could put it. Uh, I, and, 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 you know, as we've mentioned, I think if anybody wants to be successful in game design, in graphic design, in web design, uh, there has to be that passion. You need to push through the BS to get to... One, the time to be good at the thing that you're you're into, right? Uh, you know, push through the BS, and I'm still podcasting, and I guess some people are still watching me. So, so there you go. Uh, the BS of 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 being a grip on production, so you can be the awesome video video guy or director or whatever the heck that 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 flow is, you know, uh, I, I still have uh, a little bit of a romanticism of working in an office uh, of graphic design and web developers. Uh, at a certain point, that's what I thought I was going to do. That was my alternative to uh, doing video uh, because I didn't think there was going to be much of a career in video for me without moving to California, becoming a guy that travels around and does all this stuff, you know, I, and I wanted to be sort of based in a spot and have a job in a spot, and kind of settled on this idea. Uh, unfortunately, uh, one, I'm not a great graphic designer. Uh, B, did not find a job out of it, and ended up settling into a video position, um, which thankfully motivated me to do my own video stuff that's a little more exciting. But uh, really glad that I kind of stumbled back into that. But even that uh, idea still still has persisted in me. Like, like I... I I don't know what it is, but that idea of uh, of uh, uh, working working in that environment, uh, graphic designers, programmers. I, I go to Web Design Day. I go to re uh, 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 
uh, Refresh Pittsburgh. And a lot of it's talking about, like, we went to one night where they're talking about project manager managers. I've never had a project manager. I've had, like, a manager of sorts in my video editing jobs, but uh, but not like a, I guess he could be the project manager technically, but it wasn't labeled as such. Like, like, and I look, I'm looking at like the way I'm structured. I am my own project manager. I am this, I am that, I am, I am the coordinator. Uh, I don't have a lot of people I need to coordinate other than booking videographers for uh, specific video things every once in a while. But other than that, it's uh, pretty streamlined. But there's still that little bit of a, there's still a little bit of that, uh, again, romanticism towards that. It's like, man, well, you know, what would have been like if I would have uh, uh, pursued that and been in that environment? Um, and then it kind of kicks in and says, man, you would have survived in that environment. <laughs> I'm sure I would have. I'm sure I would have stuck it out and, and did just fine. But I don't think I would have been as happy doing it. You know, and 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 anybody in that environment, and I have so much respect for the people. Uh, you know, the uh, you know, the name drop a, a, a Josh Sager, uh, for instance. He's a guy that that is so unbelievably passionate about web development from about everything watching him teach watching him give a presentation if you don't have the opportunity uh if you see his name come up on a refresh pittsburgh or a web design day i absolutely recommend checking out you will be motivated in whatever the hell he's talking about and uh even seeing him teach a few sessions when uh, i was at pti for a little bit uh when i was uh, kind of shadowing him as i was going into it uh I, I wish i had that passion i i don't know i i i, I I, I strive to have that passion when I when I do a talk about uh, social media, about doing things on YouTube, about about uh, Snapchat or whatever the case may be. And, and I hope I bring that passion a little bit when I'm doing a podcast like this too. But uh, but uh, you know that that's a person that is so passionate that when you look at something like uh, I'm going to make awesome things and people are going to love the things that I'm doing too. Uh, I have to work on this color thing and this uh, fits in a certain way and, and this and that and the other thing, you know, um, you know, the, the, that's, that's, that's the reality of it. I think a lot of people for whatever their dream is, look at the guy on stage, look at the, the praise, look at the, maybe you're a stand up person you know, you want to be a stand-up comedian and you see like a Louis C.K. on stage and being loved by everybody. Maybe he's a bad example because he's kind of a self-loathing one or similar to Jerry Seinfeld, I guess, or something like that. But and, as with everything, there's so much crap to get in there. There's so much, even when they're on top, that they are still dealing with. Um, but they're still there because they love it. And when you're working through that creative idea, that creative uh, uh that creative growth that you want to do, that creative goal that you want to do, that or even just that, even just that that career goal that you want, it's not going to be easy. Who wants everybody would do it, right? Let me know what you think. Uh, just a little food for thought. Please check that out. Geeksaresexy.net. I'll link that uh, uh, comic from uh, Julia Le Petit from Dorkley, French. Yes. And uh, everybody have a good weekend. I'll be doing the uh, IWC's Proving Ground in White Oak, PA. Please stop down. Some good wrestling. Uh, some, some Actually, some really good guys are coming down. Uh, some favorites of mine that we've had on the show over on the Indie Mayhem Show, Wrestling Mayhem Show, respectively. And uh, you guys have a good weekend. See you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.